Why, hello there, tree people and bush people alike. Shams Nelson here from Pen and Blade. <coughs> Pen and Blade. And in this episode of the Pirate's Macbook, we're going to be taking a look at Candlestick Island, and I couldn't find my brush pen, so I'm going to wait to put in that, um, to write in that calligraphically. Uh, but it's part of the Diamond Island chain, and this episode is brought to you by uh, Sir Forty, my fellow pencil knight, for suggesting that we have um, tree people in one of the uh, Diamond Island chain, or the one of the Diamond, yeah, the Diamond Island chain island. And the next episode will be brought to you by, ooh, I forgot the name, but it's gonna have Elven Knight. So let's take a quick preview of the Diamond Island chain, just to remember where we're at. So I think this one might be the first one, Vile Diamond Island. And so an island chain is gonna be like a volcanic, there's like a volcano under the, under the ground, and on top of it the tectonic plates are moving and the fire shooting up in this one spot. But as it moves, it creates mountains, and then the mountains create a chain, and if it's in the middle of the water and they poke up, it's like an island chain, it's like Hawaiian stuff. Clear Storm Diamond Island, they won't necessarily be in this order. Um, Diamond Crown Island, I think this is one of my favorite ones. And Spirit Diamond Island. So this is the second to last, is Candlestick Island. Why Candlestick Island? Well, I feel like the more I live, the more I learn that there are exceptions to every rule, and I feel like it's going to be a little more realistic if they don't have the word, all have the word diamond in it, but one or two have the a different name, and it's just part of the Sat Island chain. Um, and this one is going to be situated, oh, I forgot to bring a, a thing, but we can use this. So this is going to be like, see it's tall like that, and imagine all the other island chains are like over this way, choo choo choo. And you want to travel from here to there, and this big tall island is in the way, you got to either go around that way and that way. And that's going to be important because down here in the south, let's start at the south, um, we got Crab Bear Strait, you see, and Death Crab Bay, this whole area the southern area is infested with uh, crab bears and these are pretty much like dire bear sized like bear crabs so they're amphibious they can go up in the forest so they can you know, they like to chill in the waters and they're pretty intelligent and so they have like crab shells but they're bears something like that you know what I'm saying probably cl or crab claws and they can like cut your ship in half and they're really aggressive so this isn't really um, this area isn't inhabited by humanoids, very dangerous. And even if you want to sail over here to one of the other Diamond Islands, you'd probably be best off to go south of Little Stick Island, because if you travel through the Crab Bear Strait, you're asking for trouble. Um, even though the waters look calm and uh, appealing. So we're, let's now let's zoom up all the way to the top. We're going to talk about the Tree People Forest, all right? The Tree People, like our treants, I guess, and they so the, what happened here is that this was a pirate town and pirates were using this lush forest and just uh like cutting it down and building up lots of pirate ships is number one manufacturer of pirate ships in all of the pirate seas at one point but the tree people didn't take kindly to all the deforestation and this is called free arm river because they used to just throw all the wood on this river and it would just float down and whoever's at the bottom could just collect it and the people who ran the village would just pay the people to cut it down and throw it in the thing and it was an interesting economic system but whoever collected it would profit from it so it would attract a lot of entrepreneurial people or just workers who'd be like okay if i can take wood from here to here i pretty much get free chopped wood and I can make a profit off of it and um, yeah but it worked out because they were selling their ships at a very high profit and other industry that was brought in by the town before it was lost to the tree people and the forestry grew over it and now it is lost town and there's probably other little ghost towns all across this river especially around this area so that would be interesting. There's also shipwreck sands to the south because there must have been many naval battles here, both of different pirate crews and, um, you know, like governments trying to take out this pirate town. And when the ships would get wrecked, they'd wash up on the shores there. And so it's full of shipwrecks and there's potential for treasure and adventure. Now, once Lost Town was taken over by the tree people, um, 
the the pirates who were lived there before before the whole event happened this uh, tree spirit appeared to them the great tree spirit and told them that they were all cursed every one of them even if they left th tonight that the curse of the tree people would be upon them uh, and uh, they would never leave Candlestick Island alive. So some of them tried to leave and they died in all sorts of crazy ways out in the seas before they could get out of the, you know, get to any other island. So a lot of them just moved down to this, created a new village across the bay. And these are the doomed pirates, doomed pirate village where they all live. And I was actually gonna roll what, um, let's do that as a roll. This is gonna be the race and class of the leader of doomed pirate village. Let's see what that's gonna be here on our random region generator. So the race is the D10, that's a four, and then we got a five, so a human. A human fighter, all right, we're gonna keep it basic. He's just a, one of the most powerful uh, human fighters in the Pirate League, and he suggested that they start Doom Pirate Village, and he's, uh, you know, kept, uh, kept um, uh, what's it called? Dominion over its sense. So what is their deal? If people come to Doom Pirate Village, the pirates can't ever leave. I guess they want, uh, yeah, they want it. So maybe it's a party town because, you know, they're already doomed. So they might as well party and profit from it and stuff like that. I don't know. That's what I would think a pirate might do. What is this? Is this dirty? Oh man. Well, that's what happens to pirate map books sometimes. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and until next time, Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.